Would you give him a shout of praise? <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, we are so blessed to have a house to come to. I think about the church that is in Cuba, Emmanuel. And again, thank you, everybody, for your giving and your support of that. But, you know, they come to worship God with a straw roof, no doors, and all types of weather. We've had a lot of rain tonight, amen? But just think about that. They will come in whatever weather it is because they are desperate for a move of God. And that's how we are in this house, amen? Come on, say, I really want a move of God tonight and it shall be in Jesus name oh hallelujah
mercies are renewed daily. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything I need, it comes from you, Lord. It comes from you. encourage us this evening to pull to pull on him to pull on him say father we just need you tonight we need more and more and more of you father so we thank you lord hallelujah you are my strength you are my strength strength like no Strength like no other reaches to me. You are my strength. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other reaches to me.
wants to do a refreshing tonight. You know, we had the heavens open up with all of the rain. And I believe the Holy Spirit is pouring himself out tonight upon us. Amen. How many of you could use new strength, new refreshing? Amen. You are my strength. Yes, you are. Strength like no other. Oh, so strong. Strength like no other.
declare that a miracle, a miracle can happen now. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all around that the Spirit of the Lord, we declare it, God, that a miracle, a miracle, a miracle can happen now. It's the Spirit of the Lord for the Spirit of the Lord. That is our desire. It's your kingdom come, your will be done in earth, among us, in our hearts, in our minds, in our words, in our life, that we would reflect the kingdom of God. We are citizens, Lord, of your kingdom, and we're so thrilled and pleased about that. So we want to reflect kingdom things in every aspect of our lives. May our mindset be a kingdom mindset. May our words be kingdom vocabulary. May our actions be kingdom actions. For you, Lord, says, seek first the kingdom of God. You'll add all the other stuff to us. So, Lord, we rejoice in you. We're so thankful for you. And we desire, Lord, by the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit, that you would cause us to reflect your will, your kingdom, in all things said and done in our lives. And the church said, Amen and Amen. Now lift your hearts with me, would you? Let's just thank Him real quickly. Heavenly Father, we thank You for Your goodness. We thank You for Your blessings. We thank You for Your mercy. We thank You for Your anointings. In Jesus' name, thank You, Lord. Thank You, Lord. Thank You, Lord. Thank You, Lord. Thank You for Your Word. Thank You for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. Oh, Rihanna Maria Lamai. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Rihanna Maria Lamai, Boko Rihanna Mai. We bless you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's an old song that I was very familiar with when I first came to Pentecost. I think Dallas Holmes sang it, Debbie. I surrender. No, no that wasn't Dallas Holmes. Where'd Debbie Watts go? <laughs> <laughs> she got raptured. <laughs> she disappeared. I surrender all. Is that a Gaither song? Who sang that song? I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. I surrender all. Oh, y'all make. 
make it sound so nice. I surrender. That's a beautiful, beautiful hymn, but what a great faith confession that is. And the surrendering of your life, to surrender all, to say, Jesus, whatever, I give you everything, I give you my all. Everything that I ever will be, I give it to you. I surrender it. Sometimes it's a battle within, it, within us as to how much we're gonna give to God. Lord, you can have this portion of my life, but not that portion of my life. I'll do this, but I won't do that. I'll respond to this call, but I won't respond to that call. I'll live, but I'm not going to forgive. I'll, I'll do this, but I won't do that. But the heart of that hymn was everything. Everything. For your cause, Lord. For your will, Lord. I surrender all. I surrender all. What a great, great confession of faith. What a great confession of faith. I surrender all. I lay it on the altar. Give it all to you, Lord. My life, my everything. I'll do it your way. How you want me to do it? With the right attitude. <laughs> Had to add that part. <laughs> Sometimes we do it begrudgingly. Isn't that right? Sometimes we do it begrudgingly. I'll do it, but I ain't happy about it. <laughs> I surrender all. I surrender all. All to that to be the testimony of your life, say amen. amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's so good to see you tonight. God bless you. I'm glad that you're here. believe we're in September I just I just can't believe that I keep wanting to write August and now I'm looking at the calendar of events for October and November and I'm like the year is almost over people wow it's been a fast year you know the years the time the Bible says in the last days that redeem the time Amen. Because the time gets going faster and faster and faster. We don't have days to waste. Jesus is coming. Say it with me. Jesus is coming. And so we want to be, just like Jamie said, we want to surrender all. We want to be busy about the master's things and uh, be living for him. You know, what did Carmen say? A hunt, what? The hundred percent, the whole route? Sold out the whole route. Now, who said that? Cheryl Mize. <laughs> you got it, girl. Sold out the whole route. And, um, you know, when I think about that, sold out the whole route, 
you know, it doesn't mean you go a little bit and you put the brakes on, but you just keep on going. You get momentum and you keep on going for Jesus. You don't let anything or anybody stop you. You hear me? You don't let the actions of anybody or anything stop you. You are focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. And man, that is where we set our sights. Hallelujah. Well, welcome everybody tonight and everyone that's watching online. Uh, it's just a joy to be in the house of the Lord. I'm so thankful for the ministry assistants that come early, get the place ready, the band that comes. Thank you, Pastor Jose, for playing. And uh, yeah, he's getting back on the drums. And so, but you know, it takes... Uh, all of us to make ministry happen. So I uh, thank you so much, everyone that is serving. And if you haven't found a place to serve yet, uh, we can help you do that. There are so many uh, opportunities in the house of God. The Bible says that, that he gives us open doors. He gives us opportunities. But there's many adversaries, right? And so, and I need to preach on that again, but we have opportunities before us, open doors. But you know, when God wants to do something great in your life, he wants to take you to another level. He wants to take you to a deeper level. The enemy is very good about revealing the adversaries or the difficulties. And uh, I call that the uh. Do you ever get ready to do something and you're like, I'm all motivated until you realize it's going to be some work to make that happen, you know? And so, but moving beyond the uh and, and getting to the place where, okay, God, there may be adversaries, but if you've given me this door and you have given me this opportunity, I will be faithful to walk through it and to do it according to how you say to do it. Amen? Because the kingdom of God, I'm going to tell you, it's all getting ready to welcome in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I ain't kidding about it. It's, a, it's probably closer than we all think. And so, hey, man, this Saturday is our men's meeting. And so we want to make sure that uh, you're a part of it. You know, uh, I think everybody is home folk here tonight, so I won't do the welcome. But everybody is welcome. And so, uh, but this Saturday... Men, make sure that you've signed up and you attend the men's meeting with Pastor James because I know it's going to be great and going to be great food too. No doubt about it. All right, so that is this Saturday at 830, and the Widows with Purpose is Thursday, September the 19th. Yes, at 11 o'clock. woo -hoo! Yeah, Miss Linda's already. She and her team, Pauline, all of them, they have a great time. And then 55 Couples Fellowship, Saturday, September 21st. They're having a covered dish at the Falls of Ocala Clubhouse. That means bring a dish with you. And uh, sign up will begin this Sunday. Amen. And so Shoes on the Move, Saturday, September the 28th at 10 o'clock. Amen. Going to be good. And so I think sign up begins Sunday as well. And don't forget, October the 6th is our 14th anniversary. Would you make welcome, my babe? Praise the Lord. I was texting with Pastor Lonnie today, and he is so excited about coming. He is so... Um, such a sweet spirit to him, but a powerful minister, and it's just going to be a fantastic day, so make sure that you're there on that Sunday, bring friends and family, let's pack the house, uh, he is the executive director of the international organization that this church belongs to, so it is a once in a long time opportunity to sit under such a great anointing, so make sure that you are here, say I'll be here, I'll be here. amen. 
We want to pray for the school that suffered uh, the violence uh, today. I don't know all the details, but I do know that uh, some were killed. I think four were killed. The spirit of murder has been in the planet Earth since Cain and Abel, been around a long time, because the devil has been around a long time. And the devil can motivate people to do terrible, terrible things. I don't know what was going on in the heart of that uh, 14-year-old that motivated him to, to uh, take the life of other people and cause such injury and mayhem. But I knew, do know the devil was behind this. And so we need to bind up that spirit and uh, pray over our kids every time and wives and families uh, every time they go out the door and, and uh, believe God that there's a hedge of protection built around us. Amen. And so let's pray for the families. I know the Holy Spirit. And I know the Holy Spirit can minister in supernatural ways to bring a peace that passes all understanding. Uh, because in these difficult times, uh, people that don't know the Lord real well will want to blame the Lord rather than rebuking the devil. And so we just want to make sure the Holy Spirit gets into the middle of this and brings about some miracle. You know, he can work all things together for good. And so well, let's believe for that. Heavenly Father, we just lift up the, the whole situation and we rebuke the devourer. We rebuke the spirit of violence in our, in our society, in our schools that has become so commonplace among us, Lord. We stand against it. Devil, we rebuke you. And we plead the blood of Jesus over this whole situation. And we would ask that the Holy Spirit would show himself strong in this situation and that he would minister and that ministers would be able to touch hearts for Jesus. Lord, we pray for the families that have suffered the loss of loved ones. And we just ask, Father God, that you would move, move and touch their hearts and bring peace and, and uh, alleviate any of the, the heaviness, the grief that the devil is trying to attach to them, Lord. You just work miracle signs and wonders in the midst of this, we pray in Jesus' holy name. And we pray the enemy gets no more ground. The enemy can't turn anything against God or any, any just, Lord, bring it to naught in Jesus' name. And we say amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, I'm so glad this is in the Bible. What a revelation of Scripture this is. Paul says, but he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. That's not a surprise to anybody. He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Well, isn't that a great revelation? I think we, we knew that, but we don't always apply that. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart. Purpose is a big deal. Uh, you can assign your purpose to be one who reaps bountifully or one who reaps minimally. And if you sow minimally or sparingly, that's how you're going to reap. If you sow bountifully, that's how you're going to reap. What is the purpose in your heart? What harvest do you want to receive? Well, you get to decide about that. You get to assign your purpose to that. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not begrudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you that you always, everybody say always, always. having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Blessed to be a blessing. God wants to bless your life. Am I reading the Bible? Aren't you glad this is in the Bible? This is an, an astounding revelation of what God will do. Well, it doesn't just start, stop there. Always, God will make all grace abound to you that you always, 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 always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance. God wants us to have an abundance. Why? So that we can do every good work that he lays on our heart. Amen. <laughs> that was a good place for an amen. Thank you, Debbie. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad. He's given to the poor. Righteous endures forever. Now he who supplies seed to the sower. So he even gives you the seed to sow. You don't even have to come up with the seed. He gives you the seed. If you are a sower, 
He gives seed to the sower, bread for food, supply and multiply the seed. So he gives you the seed. He multiplies the seed. He just wants to know in your heart what kind of harvest do you want to have. Do you want to have multiplied harvest or sparing harvest? Say, I want a big harvest because I got big plans for Jesus. Wouldn't it be great to have abundance so that you have no lack, that you can do everything that God puts on your heart to do? Amen. Amen. That when God says, you know, we really need a bigger sanctuary, you could meet me after service and you say, what kind of check do you want me to write for you? Let's build that next week. Here we go. Come on now. I got that extra five million laying around. I just got to put it in the right ground. I got to watch that thing multiply. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just, just a quick story about Pastor Lonnie. Pastor Lonnie had it on his heart to uh, build a home for the homeless. And uh, I may not get all the details right. Maybe he'll tell the story. But two gentlemen driving through town, and God laid it on their heart to call him. I don't know the connection. I don't think they knew him, but, called, but they called him. And they said, what do you have on your heart? And he said, uh, well, I have a heart to open this homeless shelter. And they said, you'll have a check tomorrow. How much do you want? He told him, you'll have a check tomorrow. God can do amazing, amazing things. And it's because that those people had the resources to do that. Jesus told the story of the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan had the resources to take care of the man in abundance because he said, if you need anything else, I'll give it to you on my way back through town. Just make sure he's taken care of. Don't you want that to be the testimony of your life? Whatever it takes, Lord. That's right. You get it to me, I'll get it to to the need. Amen. Let's sow into the kingdom right now. Abundance and never lack. Abundance and never lack. Everybody say it. Abundance and never lack. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to sow good seed into good ground. And we declare that this seed will go forth and bring a harvest of souls saved, bodies healed, lives changed. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen and amen. God bless you in your giving. And I searched the world, but it couldn't fill me. Man's empty praise treasures that fade are never enough then you came along and put me back together and every desire is now satisfied here in your love oh there better than you there's something better than you Lord there's something nothing is better than you and I've searched the world <laughs> but it could have filled me man's empty prayer that fade are never enough then you came along yes you did and you put me back together and every and every desire is now satisfied here in your love oh there's
Yeah.